very impressed with how fast this is going. Now, for you guys at home watching this or wherever you are, uh, you're probably going to get bored watching Lightwave go through this render. But for me, this is really exciting because I used to spend hours and hours doing test renders to see what I was going to get before I would put stuff onto the farm uh, for a single shot. And now I can do this in you know under half an hour. I know what I'm going to get. And of course, that's full 1920 by 1080. We would very rarely render on the show at that resolution. Uh, let's do this at the resolution that we used to render at, which is this. Let's see what kind of render speeds we get. Because we're rendering with a smaller resolution frame, obviously the rendering is going to be that much faster. Now, it's very similar behavior before, where it you know, went from like 10 minutes in the time remaining estimation. Now it's gone down to two minutes. It was at one minute and 50 seconds. Uh, it's going to bounce around a little bit here as it hits more object detail and obviously more lights. That's the nature of the scanline renderer of Lightwave is that uh, you have nothing on the screen at the top of the frame and it renders render super quick and then you hit something in the middle and it's going to slow down. That's just how it is. Alright, so this is excellent. Um, it hasn't really pushed up much further than seven minutes here. Eight minutes, that's still well under what we would expect for uh, render times in the past. And of course, once this frame would be done, the compositors would take it, composite all of the different elements together uh, that would normally be broken apart and separated, and then put through render, and then put it all back together in the compositing process. And the last tool in their chains uh, would be a resize to bring the image up to full 1920 by uh, 1080 and then we would ship the shots off to the transfer facility, they'd take it to uh, the post-production guys in Los Angeles and they'd run the final tapes and it'd go to air. Well, I'm pretty impressed. What I'm going to do in the next video is we're going to take uh, the Galactica and we're going to do a establisher shot uh, as you would have seen in the show and we're going to see what kind of render times we're going to get there but we're also going to go through the process of breaking the shot out as I've just described here in this video uh, so that you can see the way it all comes together in the compositing process and for that portion of the video we'll be 